Hey there, Sleeping Amy family. Welcome back to Mailbag Monday. We have some interesting mail today. We got stuff that's actually from Japan and actually have a couple of pickups from a local card shop when I like to take some bulk. So can't wait to show you guys that. And uh, just some really good, awesome goodies today. So let us dive right in. Um, we will actually do the Japanese goodies first. So I saw this guy on there and super cute. <laughs> and you're gonna absolutely just like put him anywhere. But it is from Japan. I got this Umbreon plush. And it is just a oof, I'm very tired plush because it flattens out. <laughs> and has little beads in it. And uh, I wanted to get another Umbreon plush. I don't think I have enough of them. Umbreon being my favorite Pokemon. It is incredibly soft. Oh my goodness, this thing is incredibly soft. I didn't get the small one. I know there's a, a little bit bigger one, but super, super cute. And I'm glad that I picked him up. So we're gonna try to set him off a little bit to the side, maybe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He'll be sitting off to the side right there. I might end up moving him because he's just like so pooped. He's just kind of like falling over. So we'll set him by my light. So that is the Umbreon plush that I thought was adorable. The other thing I got was the Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, sorry, Cassiopeia. Uh, Playmat. So this is a playmat with Penny on it. And her alter ego is Cassio Cassiopeia. And all of her VVs, her evolutions. There's a Flareon, Sylveon, Leafeon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Umbreon. So I thought for sure that both games would have different setups. Uh, like she would use, let's see, Espeon and, and uh, Glaceon in at least a different version. So that perhaps maybe Leafeon and Umbreon would be used in one version and Espeon and Glaceon would be used in another. No, she uses the same team in both and that's her team. Um, I think it would have been a little bit cooler if you had a little bit version exclusive battle with her, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna keep it in this tube for a while. It's probably gonna be one of those I uh, might dis might use here to open up cards at some point, but definitely one of those playmats I like, and I will keep it displayed. <laughs> kind of like the Kitakami one and the Bianca one that I got for uh, Mugia, so he really adores that one. All right, let's get into our mail. We'll do one letter and then I'll show you guys the cards from the local shop. So this one is from Red Rapidash. And this was actually gifted to me from Javi as well. He uh, bought these cards for me, which was super nice of him. And they're, they are these, I believe they're Chinese? I'm trying to remember if that's what they are. Definitely look, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think Chinese. <laughs> but they are definitely like cards I don't usually see. And they have that like shattered glass effect to them. And he got me the Ralts, Curlia, Mudkip, Eevee, and a Pikachu. And I will of course keep these in my collection. Definitely unique. <laughs> Some very, very unique cards and I really like them. So thank you Javi for getting those for me and thank you Red Rapidash for sending them. I'm trying to just kind of splay them out a little bit. <laughs> All right. The next one is from Thespian. Oops. And we got some more vintage from Thespian. And we got Radicate Southern Islands card. And we got this really cool torchic cutout and a Poliwag Vending Series card. I think this is one of the earlier Vending Series cards, as well as a Reverse Hollow Ladybot, also from Southern Islands. I'm trying to do get all those Southern Islands cards. 
There's only about, I think, like 16, if I remember correctly. So, slowly getting them. I think I have about mm, six now. So, slowly acquiring them a little bit at a time. I will have them all. They all do connect together in one big picture. So, I'm excited for that. <laughs> all right. The next one is from Paul. Let's see. Oops. So you went and go back to the little baggie. And we have some stickers too. We got Pikachu from the I Choose You uh, Pokemon the movie. That came out during Sun and Moon era. It was actually a reanimation of the first episode of Pokemon of Ash getting Pikachu for the first time and their adventures in the first couple of episodes. They pretty much just redid the animation for it and made it, took all those episodes and just made it into a longer movie, so. But that was where that one's from. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> the I Choose You one, I just, I I love the original anime, the original Kanto version, or the original animation that came out. <clears throat> so, I uh, definitely would prefer watching that one. Will I eventually watch it? Maybe. I know they redid Pokemon the first movie as well, and Mewtwo Strikes Back. So, and that's where I think you had armor Mewtwo. But, uh, we also got this really cool Mew coin. I think this one comes in something particular. I'm trying to remember what it is. I can't remember if that's like the Fusion Strike box or something. I'll have to look. That could be like the Fusion Shark box. We also have these really awesome stickers. <laughs> I do like collecting stickers. And we got a Vespa Quinn and a Belly Bolt as some extras. And this Umbreon GX promo as well. That is also a Sun and Moon promo. It's not one I have, so. Or an Umbreon card they have, so I definitely want to get that. And also these extras as well. I think that Farfetch I definitely needed going into the Neo set, so this will be really cool. Help jumpstart the Neo era. Okay, on to the local pickups. So I got these at a card shop called Super Games uh, that's in Georgia. I took some bulk there. They seem to have decent bulk prices that stay the same since January. Uh, Mudkip's shop has had a hit in their bulk pricing, so we decided to try this place out. And they were really good. They were really awesome. Very nice. And uh, I think for now, I will probably take our bulk over there. But I did not end up using all the bulk. I still have a little bit of credit left with the place. But these two cards I was able to get from there. The Dark Dragonite Hollow and Non-Hollow. I was very happy to pick these up because they're part of the Team Rocket set and cards that Mudkip and I don't have yet. And it gets us a little bit closer to completing Team Rocket, which we're getting closer to being about 10 cards away. So I'm very excited. <laughs> very, very excited. I think Dragonite was kind of the, and the non hollow were kind of the big ones to pick up. Um, as far as hollow Pokemon left, we have, uh, I know Gyarados is one of them. I can't remember the other one off the top of my head. Uh, we also have a couple of trainers, hollows left as well. But more non-hollows, I think, now. But non-hollows are not too difficult. <laughs> it's always trying to knock out the hollows first. But yes, very excited to pick those up. <laughs> and the next one is from Unbreakables. And also showing off some more Team Rocket, we got this Dark Violet Plume. There's another one of the hollows we're missing. And like I said, I cannot remember the other hollows just off the top of my head. But it's down to, I think, about five hollows, four or five hollows, and uh, more than not hollows. It could be the Machamp, but I thought we were able to snag that one. But it could be the Dark Machamp. 
But yeah, I've, I'm excited. We're getting closer to finishing Team Rocket. I've had more of a focus on trying to finish Team Rocket at the moment. And then once we get done with that, I will have, I'll be able to shift into like the, the gym era. <laughs> really focusing on those. And I think going one at a time with the gym cards is easier. Uh, I know a lot of people put up both Gym Hero and Gym Challenge cards, but I think being able to do it one set at a time, or at least when I get closer to completion, start picking off some cards uh, of a secondary set, that makes it much easier to manage rather than trying to do a bunch at once. Okay, this one is from Rayquaza. And so this time, we both figured we would do Bubble Mailer. She doesn't live too far from me, but being at the post office is being weird for some reason about uh, timely delivering it on her stuff to me. We decided to do this, but again, more Team Rocket cards. We got Hollow Dark Hypno, which another really cool one. The Hollow is kind of hard to see since it is, per you know, just dark, but uh, <laughs> yeah, and we got some stickers as well. And the other card I got is the Lucian. We got a Lucian full art, <laughs> which is one that I uh, think of hold also recently as well. <laughs> All right, we are into, oh, one more before I forget. So these were sent to Mudkip and uh, I did want to show you guys these cards. So Mudkip sent me pictures and they're actually from Poke Vibes. I will probably show them again in person next time I see my kit, but I did actually want to show pictures of these cards for you guys. And they are right down below. So these are some recent pickups from Polka Vibes. Uh, one of them is a Pikachu with a W stamp, which I have been collecting those cards. There's seven of them. I'm actually down to three. Um, there's also some vintage cards that I got as well. You guys will see all of them down below. <laughs> He took fantastic pictures of them. There's a Mudkip and a Swampert in there. Um, <laughs> but yes, I will show those cards again in person next time I see Mudkip. But I did want to go ahead and give Poke Vibes a shout out for those cards. But the very last one is from Misty. <laughs> uh, we do trades often and we send each other goodies. I actually just sent her a box recently, which I hope she enjoys. But she actually went to the New Orleans NAIC tournament and uh, she was actually able to bring me some goodies back from that, which I'm very appreciative. One of them uh, being the sleeves. Uh, this will be the first time I've ever gotten any sleeves that are like this. Um, the International Championship sleeves, the 2024 sleeves. So those are really cool. It's got Arm Rouge and Cerulege on it. So. Uh, the other thing that she definitely was hunting for me was the pin, the pin from the tournament as well. So I was very excited to get this. Um, again, I'm very appreciative of her getting these things for me. I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, the one thing she didn't tell me about though is she got me this Play Lab pin. So that was super sweet of her. I'm very excited she got that for me. Uh, I, I, this is one you cannot buy. You actually have to go through the lab, the play lab to actually get these. So, and one of the packs she actually won was a unified minds pack. And so, uh, I am going to open this. I'm actually going to save it for next video and open it up with you guys there. We'll see if we can get something good out of this unified minds pack then. But, uh, <laughs> Wanted to show you guys the last bit that she sent me. Gosh. And uh, we always do some trades. So she got, I sent off her into the trade, but she sent me these cards as well. We got the Thwacky from Twilight Masquerade and a Porygon from Team Rocket. I'm gonna just set these over here. Iron Thorns EX, <laughs> Jolteon and Unfair Stamp. This Gengar and Mimikyu <laughs> GX Tag Team, which if you guys noticed recently, the price has exploded on this particular card. I saw somebody selling it for the over $100 price and I thought for sure they meant some other card 
No, it, it, it's this card and it just blows my mind that it is this price now, uh, $111 on TCG Player. Um, uh, Misty's able to go to a really cool shop <laughs> near her and uh, sometimes they sell for really, really cheap. We got Luxray and an Aflin, Mag Cargo Full Art, Absol, Espeon, and the Snorlax Promo. So, uh, Misty's is really cool finding some awesome cards. Um, she always finds ones too that she knows I'll like, ones I haven't seen, and uh, she's just a really, really awesome friend. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna open up that you know, find Minds pack in another video though. And we're gonna build up to it. I got some other products to open as well. But uh, yeah, all these goodies from Pokemon and AIC as well. And it's just one to save the best one for last. So, but uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Got some more cool videos coming up this week. And uh, <laughs> excited to show you guys. But until then, take care, sleep well, and good night.